Hello everyone and welcome to Book Snoop's YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to let everyone know before we get started today that uh, I have been working on uh, changing the format of these videos since I know I haven't posted one in quite a while. Um, I wanted to make these a lot more simplistic, easier for me to record and post a little bit more quickly and efficiently so that it's not um, you know, really taking a ton of time outside of my work schedule because that's a bit of a struggle with uh, getting them uploaded on time. So hopefully you guys enjoy this new easy, quick format that's very straightforward, still using the same rubric and everything else like that. So today I'm going to be reviewing um, an anthology this time rather than a novel. And uh, this anthology is just simply named Happily Ever After. And it's uh, actually a very interesting anthology of rewritten uh, classic fairy tales. And this is um, ha Happily Ever After, sorry, edited by John Klima, I believe that's how you say it. Um, and I can post that picture there while I'm recording so that you guys know what that cover looks like. Um, but this intrigued me. I just found it in a secondhand bookstore. And um, what really caught my attention was the inclusion of authors that I already knew, such as Gregory Maguire, uh, Neil Gaiman, uh, Susanna Clarke, and I believe I also saw Kelly Link. Yes, Kelly Link. Um, so, you know, if any of you are familiar with the authors who are already included in this anthology, then it might be a good, uh, a good pick for you, so you can uh, follow some of their short stories rather than their full-size novels. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started with the review, looking at the rubric here. Um, so keeping in mind that I am going to be reviewing the anthology as a whole, so obviously not every, um, obviously not everybody is going to like every single story that's in the anthology because they all have different writers and ergo uh, different writing styles and different stories. So uh, keeping that in mind when I'm doing this review, um, this is for the anthology as a whole and, uh, you know, doesn't apply to every single story because I obviously liked some more than others. So looking at the quality of writing, um, I gave this one a four right off the bat because uh, regardless of the fact that these are all different writers, I did find them to be very um, equally skilled just in terms of their writing level and each of them I think did a great job with what they were hoping to achieve. Whether it's something I liked or not, um, it's definitely high quality writing that you're going to be getting with this novel, or with this um, anthology, sorry. Um, with readability, I had to give this one a three. I, I found that some of the texts in terms of both the writing and the subject matter might just be less access accessible to um, you know, less experienced or younger readers. The pacing as well can really vary from story to story, but even just regardless of that. When you're looking at an anthology as a whole, some people um, find it uh, very good pacing because with the, um, you know, with having multiple stories back to back, um, it's easier to, to see, um, to read it at a, at a fast pace because you have something new each time. Whereas some people, without the, the dedication to a single storyline, might find that it's kind of dragging and the pacing is a bit slow. So that's really just to each their own. Story uniqueness, I gave this one a three as well. For the rubric, it says retold and reimagined, which is what we're looking at here with this anthology. So these are familiar classic stories that most people would know. Um, and what the writers have done here is just taken each of those different stories that they've selected and given it a twist, whether it's putting it in a different time period or uh, writing the same story, but say with a different uh, type of ending than the one that we classically know. Um, so it really does, again, depend on whether you enjoy that kind of twist on a classic story or whether you would prefer something more unique. For the theme slash message, I gave this one a four as well. I thought this was very well done in each of the stories, the ones I liked, the ones I didn't like. Um, each of them really did try to give something classic a lot more depth than perhaps was originally in the story and um, maybe make it a bit more uh, relevant to people today, let's say. For characters, I gave this one a 3.5. Again, it varies from uh, story to story, but I did uh, really enjoy the, the depth that was given to some of these characters in such a short time because these are short stories and that's quite difficult to do, so that was really well done in a lot of these tales. Engagement, I gave this one a three. Um, I do consider it a one-time read, even though there are particular stories in here that I, I really quite enjoyed and I might look back on again in the future. Um, the anthology as a whole is not something I would read uh, cover to cover a second time. I would probably just look back on the particular stories I liked. And engagement, uh, sorry, engagement I did. Quality of dialogue, 
for quality of dialogue, I also gave this one a three. This one is another one that varies from story to story, but the dialogue was just appropriate. I didn't find anything too extravagant or, or too, um, you know, cliche or distracting. It was really just perfectly appropriate for the stories that were written. Setting as well varied from story to story, um, but th these being shorter stories, there's not a lot of time to focus on developing the setting. So, um, you know, even though I'm giving this a three, really, it's not taking away from the quality of these works. It's just that these are short stories and there's there tends to be a stronger focus on the plot and the characters and developing that rather than uh, describing the sc scenery. And then finally, plot. I gave this one a three as well. Obviously, in some of the stories in here I enjoyed a lot more if I felt that the plot or characters were, um, you know, more fully developed. Uh, some of these managed to really catch my attention, even though they were uh, quite short and sweet and to the point. So it is to each their own with a lot of these categories on the rubric, but that one is also a three. So that gives us 32.5 out of 50 for a total of 65 out of 100 for the score. Um, yeah, I just want to conclude this review by telling everyone to give this uh, the specific number or score um, a bit of a grain of salt. Take it with a bit of a grain of salt because, um, you know, it is an anthology. And I think that if you know some of the authors, if you like rewritten uh, novels or stories that take a classic story and give it a twist, um, anything like that, or if you like a short story anthologies, I think this would be a good pick for anybody who's into any of those, um, simply because... You know, you have a lot to, to look at here, a lot of different authors, a lot of different styles, a lot of different twists on these stories. And so I think regardless of what kind of reader you are, you're bound to find something in here that you like. So uh, hopefully that review has helped some of you decide whether or not this anthology is something for you to choose down the road. Um, anyway, leave a comment below if you have particular... Uh, you know, short stories out of this anthology that you liked, that you want to recommend to people. If you think there's anything that I missed in this review, please do let me know in the comments so I can continue to improve this channel. I hope that this new format was very quick, very easy for you, made it, um, you know, a simple decision, and I will be posting another book review shortly. Have a great day, everyone, and goodbye.